Scratch, what one? Bless up, bless up all of my viewers, all of my subscribers out in the world. Hope you all doing well. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell if you haven't as yet. So we have coming up in the topics, Jack Cure set to release album from prison. Also, Shabarangs revealed that why some producers don't want to work with him because he wants ownership of his masters for any new music. We see some people I mentioned DJ Khalid name and I talk some things. We're gonna talk about that as well. Also, we have coming up Cardi B and Offset in Jamaica. Plus, Sizzla producer respond to Futa Hype and we're gonna review an artist called Under Construction with his new song, Crown. Stay tuned! Yo! Reggae Media TV, Pada Dan, everything we bad, and we mad at Dan, everything we mad. Anybody should fix home, never fix it back. Anybody should fix home, never fix it back. Alright, so we're gonna feature this artist coming up in the vlog under construction with his new music video out called Crown. Yes, people, so stay tuned for that. Right now, Cardi B and Offset in Jamaica. Yes, people, you're not for ask if they are enjoying the trip. You don't know Offset birthday, so him and Cardi B flying at Jamaica and right here, want to check this out. You know them love the culture and everything. <laughs> Games are here. No, come on. Go. We on the island. <laughs> Catch the island. We on the island for. Gal. Okay, so reggae singer Jack Ewer will be releasing his ninth studio album from behind prison walls next February via VP Records. Yes, people, so the 11 track album is set to title Undeniable and features collaborations from upcoming Haitian female artists Kaylan Arnold and Ghanaian Afro pop star Stoneboy. <laughs> Okay, so Sizzla producer respond to Futa hype right here. Futa, big up yourself to car. You don't really know what I'm going. You say what I say, but you are going to make your assumptions. Rasta have all right for burn out what they feel for burn out. You say what I say? Whether it's yesterday, today, or tomorrow. You see me? We are going to say what we want to say. Because one president, and one king, and a one emperor, Ayla Selassie, I Rasta for all right. So don't jump in a Rasta thing. You see what I say? So we see Futa Hype reaction after Sizzla producer came out addressing, you know, the real reason why Sizzla burn up the plaque. It is because of royalty issues, unlike Futa Hype claim, saying that because of the whole collaboration, someone is not straight and it's Sizzla and I like that. And, you know, so right here we see Futa Hype did put this out already. Producer deny what I say. Um, Sizzla producer is not Sizzla. I really don't care much of what he has to say. I want to hear Sizzler Kalanji speak. And if Sizzler Kalanji come and speak, when producer say, then it proves that Rasta artists have lost it and them just are dealing money. Because what the producer say can't help Sizzler, it make more Sizzler look bad more than anything else. Well, looking back at everything after seeing all of this, Sizzler producer did came out. I remember when him say the whole shaky business surrounding the track that are one of the reasons, but that is not the main reason why Sizzler rip up the plaque and burn it. The main reason are because of royalties. And if Sizzler decide that he might go defend for him one, nothing wrong with that still. Probably him could handle the situation a bit different, but who knows? Maybe he might check on it all long a query, reach out to DJ Khalid and not get no answer. <laughs> Alright, so this is a next photo from Vibes Cartel again. Yes, people, a new one from prison. 
Couple weeks ago, we see Vibes Cartel post couple photos on his Instagram. As you can see right here, you know, Vibes Cartel in a Jordans and next one in a polo and thing. But this one right here is a up close pick. You know, the last up close one we see put out, you know, is like that one was kind of dark. But Vibes Cartel right here once again with a new photo from prison. And we see him fans them react. Anytime Vibes Cartel fans them see a new picture leak or you know them see a new image of Vibes Cartel them always get in frenzy you know Vibes Cartel fans always commenting free world boss you know them non stop say that until them see Vibes Cartel free so you know Vibes Cartel promised his fans the EP you know the appellant in December so we're looking forward to that same way it back. Anybody should fix come, never fix it back. Never fight for you, like the army in the navy. Alright, so the artist under construction dropped this song in October entitled Crown. You know, it produced by Apollo Wave and Javai Clark. Big them up. Anybody should fix come, never fix Anybody should fix crown me, I go fix it back. So some people might hear this song and I wonder who him really attack. So according to the artist, based on an article we see came out in the Jamaica Observer surrounding this new one, you know, the song Crown seeks to inspire and heal women who have risen above adverse situations. So it's a woman empowerment type of song, you know, as you hear with the artist saying of the song, he might go pray for her like the pastor in a church, he might go hold her down until she reach to the top, if then she far crown, he might go fix it back. Yes, people, so I'm going to share the link in the comment section. I'm also going to share it in the description of this video. So y'all can check out the artist under construction. After watching this vlog, you have this new music video out now entitled Crown. Yes, people. Okay, so amidst the whole controversy between Sisla and DJ Khalid, we see Shabarangs put out something in a recent interview with On Stage TV. Yes, people, it's like Shabarangs reveal why many producers don't want to work with him. Why they avoid him is because he wants ownership of his masters for any new music. All uh, this music here be a multi-billionaire. Multi-billions in this music here. I say the people them who are the gatekeeper are the gatekeeper of this music here. I go and I say them see every other artist and them don't see Shabba. So here me want all of the people them to do. I want to chat to the people them who are produce dancehall music and reggae music. I make them know some want some Shabba music. Cause because me a daily business and some man a daily hustling, them go and let them one deal with me. Because them have a whole role where them are used for new food. But because me a old fool, yeah. we understand the old role. Yeah. Them go and let them one deal with me. Yeah. But me no businessman, me a businessman. So looking at the interview, Shabarangs him not call out DJ Khalid name specifically or anything like that. It's like him attack generally why producers don't want to work with him. But you see, because the whole controversy was going now between Sizzler and Khalid, people a call Khalid name pertaining to this what Shabarang saying now. Worse them say DJ Khalid work with, you know, artists of that era, Buju Bantan, Sizzler, Capleton, Bunty. So it's like some people are say this could be the reason why them not say DJ Khalid a work with Shabba, you know, amidst the whole controversy was going now. With Sisla. Well, earlier in the video, as we mentioned before, Sisla producer said that the main reason why Sisla burn up the plaque are because of royalty issues. So now, when people see Shabarangs go say something like this, we see them mention DJ Khalid name. As you can see, few of the comments over social media right here, this person posts Shaba is not a fool. He been in game way before Khalid. You know, and we see some people have bash DJ Khalid. We not going to really highlight that still. But right here we see some people posting the clip over TikTok. That part of the interview saying that Shaba speaking about DJ Khalid. Yes, people. So, yes, it's true. The whole drama over social media and now people go see this interview. A lot of people might think that Shabarang speaking of DJ Khalid as one of the person who don't want to work with the dancehall icon. Yes, people. So, you know, this is something good though. If you know that Shabarangs own all of his masters, you know, for any forthcoming music, 
Yeah, man, enough artists, them not own them masters, you know. So, you see me, Shabarangs, him just make that decision. And he must say that's why a lot of dancehall and reggae producers avoid him over the years. Yo, reggae media TV, badder than everything we bad. And we madder than everything we mad. Subscribe now, you hear that?